we'd all only like to bang super hot chicks, okay? But you have to work your way up. You have to become that high value, attractive guy. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to become a chick magnet, all right? How to be the guy that every girl wants, okay? Before we continue, please like and subscribe. Okay, if you're not yet a subscriber, I have just started a new thing on my channel where I'm putting out new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, that's gonna be a new video every single day. The best way to be updated about those is to subscribe and you will get notifications. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you're getting notifications about those, okay? So, to begin with, I get a lot of students, okay, I have clients all over the world. They come on the program and they say, I wanna bang a nine or I wanna bang a 10. Okay, I don't want to bang below a nine. I don't want to bang regular average girls. Okay, and I say, I always ask in advance, how many girls have you been with? Okay, how old are you? How many girls have you been with? Where are your self-identified weak spots? It's a series of questions I ask so I can customize the program accordingly. And more often than not, the guy has never even banged a pretty above average chick yet. Okay, he's never even banged like a 7.5 for instance or an eight. Okay, and he wants to just start off right away with the nines, okay? Now, yes, of course, we'd all only like to bang super hot chicks, okay? But you have to work your way up. You have to become that high value, attractive guy. A lot of people say like, oh, it's not just all about banging chicks, it's not just about increasing your lay count, et cetera. I totally agree. But a lot of that is completely necessary, okay? In order to get up to where you need to be, okay? I can't remember the exact wording, but I had a review come in once I think the guy had been with about 17 chicks. I'll put the screenshot up here. He'd been with about 17 chicks and he went through Occam's Razor, okay, at ultimateseductionsystem.com. I'll put the link um, in the video description. Okay, check that out. That is my flagship product. And in that, I talk about four main sections. Night game, nighttime game, daytime game, how to run your dates, and how to do online game, okay? There's over 70 hidden camera infield videos. The point is, he said, I went from 17 girls, okay, in, a, in about a year's time, he crossed his first 100, okay, his first 100 girls. I can't recall exactly, but I think he got up to about 118, okay? And at that point, he got like his full package dream girlfriend. And he said that he felt like he was becoming more confident, more alpha, etc. You kind of have to go through that process, unfortunately, okay? A new guy at this is not ready for a full package chick, okay? Um, it's just, it's, there's no other way around it, okay? In order to be that chick, or in order to be that guy, okay, that all the girls want, like for instance, I am that guy now, right? So for instance, right now, I'm in Florianopolis, Brazil, there's 12 girls in rotation, okay, 12 regulars. I'm regularly turning down rotation girls and new opportunities for meets, okay? Last week, there was about 10 different new chicks I could have met that I didn't, okay? From leads mostly coming in through Tinder, okay? Running multiple Tinders. And I had all those set straight to the house and I bailed on them because I prioritized and put ahead of the pack my main chicks and the girls in rotation that I enjoy spending time with, okay? A rotation girl might come over and spend the entire day, okay, and sleep over and whatever, and I have to cancel a whole bunch of other shit. Um, but I have a whole bunch of full package, high quality chicks, right, that want to be my monogamous girlfriend that want to marry me, okay, there's a few chicks here that want to marry me, and this happens all over the place. And these are full package, high quality chicks, okay, and they have a whole long list of guys that are after them, okay, look at me, I'm not a model looking guy, okay, I'm not super jacked, why is that, okay, how have I become to be the guy that all these chicks want, okay, and there's a lot of subtleties in the answer here, but over time, okay, you kind of become cooler, all right? As, <laughs> it's basically like, just thinking of it in, in pure quantitative terms, okay? In, in pure um, numbers, all right? Imagine you bang a bunch of fives, okay? Then you bang a six, okay? Now the six is gonna maybe, like you're gonna be like, oh, I, I never get sixes, so I need to treat this a little differently, right? So you're gonna be micromanaging what you say. It's maybe it's easier to think from going to an eight to a nine, okay, because a lot of people don't even wanna bang sixes, myself included. I'm talking about for newer guys starting off. But let's say you're going from an eight to a nine, okay? I can remember when I hung out with my first nine, okay, way back in the day, okay, back in like, this must've been like over 10 years ago. And I was literally terrified, 
Okay, I, all my normal behaviors are now being modified. I'm micromanaging what I'm saying, what I'm doing. I'm wondering, does this girl like me? Um, how do I make this girl like me? How do I not fuck this up? How am I doing so far? What if I say something stupid? Um, what if I'm not her type? What if I lose her for some reason? I don't want to go back down to eights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? But as you become more accustomed to seeing girls of that caliber, okay, as you start to get more results in this and have more experiences, then all of a sudden that type of girl isn't a big deal to you anymore. Okay, so when I have these full package girls on rotation that know I'm seeing a whole bunch of other girls and that have all these options, they still want me as their number one choice, okay? Because they know I'm willing to walk away. And it's not just like the RSD, like, yeah, I don't need you, like, like this whole sort of thing. Like, I really don't care, okay? I really don't care if I see them. I speak my mind at all times. I own everything that I say, right? Like, if I say something and she's upset about it, unless I was being a huge dick, if it's like my position on something, I own it, okay? There's a bunch of these various behaviors, all right? Having balls to do and say what you want, okay? Having balls to call them out. Okay, I'm gonna put out another video this week where I talk about how to basically have them respect you, okay? And a lot of it goes to boundaries. When I was in high school, in college, I didn't even kiss girls to college, but when I was in early college, right? I'm in high school, I had this mindset too, but it carried into college. I thought that if I wanted a girl to like me and I wanted to get points with a girl, that I needed to do nice things for her. Basically kiss her ass, okay? I thought the more I take her to dinner, the more I buy her flowers, the more I get her candy, the more I let her get away with bullshit, okay? The more when she gets mad at me for bad reasons, I put up with it. I think all these things, this is what I thought, all these things would literally have an effect, okay, to make the girl like me more. And the sad truth, even though that's what they show you in the Disney movies and what society tells you, your fucking mom, and what a lot of people think is, is the way things operate, the way things operate is a chick wants an alpha badass leader who does not give a fuck, okay? When you portray that, when you're unapologetic, when you're willing to call them out, okay, because why? Because you don't tolerate people crossing boundaries with you even if they're a hot chick, okay? When you can be normal and cool around them, and are not trying to micromanage what you put out, okay? Because think about that you're like a nine or 9.5 female, okay? Everyone's trying to be cool. Everyone's trying to impress you. Everyone's trying to be a different version of self. They're trying to be the version that they think the hot girl will like, okay? They're trying to be the cool guy. They're trying to be the funny guy. They're trying to be this, they're trying to be that. And the girl just wants a normal interaction. The girl just wants a guy that she can chill with and have fun with that isn't gonna put her on some big pedestal, that isn't going to kiss her ass, that isn't gonna call her out on her shit, okay? And that isn't gonna put up with her shit. And she can almost never find that, okay? One of my top girls right now, it's a, a blonde, okay? She's gonna be in Brazilian Playboy, she's a professional model out here. Fake, my top three turn-ons in order, and she has all three, are fake tits, tattoos, and piercings, okay? She's gonna be in this big model competition. She submitted videos to Playboy. Like, I think she's super, super hot. Plus she has three years of tantric massage experience. Okay, so she's like magical with her hands, okay? And we made a porn together and we did all her, she did all her hand techniques in the beginning, okay, with the foreplay and we recorded it. And now I have other fuck buddies, other rotation girls who know I'm seeing other girls watch that and learn the tantric massage techniques like literally as another girl is doing them to me on camera, okay? <laughs> and I'm introducing my different rotation girls to each other to have threesomes and foursomes. And some girls in my rotation know they can only hang out with me if it's for a threesome or a foursome. And they used to have more privileges, whatever you want to call it, before that, but they've been downgraded as better stuff has come in. Uh, a lot of this makes me sound like a dick, but the reality is, like with this girl, for instance, with the, with the blonde, with the fake tits, she was really shocked the first time we had sex because she said every guy always busts in like a minute, okay? And that's a direct analogy to exactly what I was talking about, okay? From a personality standpoint and how you conduct yourself around a girl like this, this is now a direct analogy, but in the sexual arena, okay? So guys were just not accustomed to seeing a girl this hot naked, especially a girl that's this good with her hands, she gives good head, she fucks good, okay? and they just can't control themselves, they can't handle themselves. So they bust really quick. So she was always just having this like really fast, quick sex. Whereas with me, I've trained myself to the point where it's all mental. So I only finish 
in a sexual interaction when the girls like come a whole shitload and she's like all tired out and all this stuff right and they always not always but almost always say it's like by far the best sex i've ever had the most times i've ever come the hardest orgasms i've ever had etc etc and when i'm hanging out with her i'm not like compliment 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 kiss ass kiss ass kiss ass it's just cool right like it's just fucking normal laid back hanging out with her okay if she does some fucked up shit i call her out we haven't even had any situations like that yet but i've had to do it with many others um she was sad the other day because her dad found out that she's got like fucking naked videos online not, not we didn't put the fucking porn we made online but she she's got like naked videos for her model stuff and like her dad found out about that and she was like crying and i was holding her right like just being like a not like a fucking pussy like oh baby like are you okay baby? like it's just more like being a strong presence in her life okay it's very rare for them to find something like that all right and a lot of these a lot of these girls that are on my main rotation or that are my monogamous girlfriend for a short time they tell me about their their exes oh my last ex was you know super jacked he had tattoos he was a dentist blah blah blah, blah. like the traditional like full package guy right but a lot of those guys have a lot of their internals messed up meaning they're gonna still kiss that girl's ass they're gonna still be a needy bitch okay they're gonna still be a huge pussy they're not gonna have balls they're gonna still you know since this girl's hot put her on some kind of pedestal etc okay so what you need to do is get more experience okay and, and i'll put up this review again look at this review because this is like the cycle this is like the life cycle this is what typically happens it's not exact numbers it's not like you need to hit 100 first before you are cool enough or some it happens a lot quicker but you have to go through this transformation process okay and my job on a live program or in my digital product is to get you into that high value cool alpha guy as fast as possible okay so the hot girls will respond to you so that you build up that experience and so you can have them around in your life okay and it's fucking awesome to have a whole collection of super hot chicks and you're turning down other hot chicks that you would love to see on a daily basis you're turning down hot chicks that are full package that want to marry you or be your girlfriend okay and simply the the reason is that you don't need any of them like need need right you're not like a needy bitch you have balls you stand up for yourself okay you um but like look at the look at the fucking coaches in the industry right i can put out a whole video blasting everyone in turn no one defends himself not everyone's a huge fucking pussy right like across the board okay these guys that are proclaimed dating coaches they're not banging hot chicks a lot of these guys okay you can look at them for two seconds and can tell okay it's very easy to spot point being if you want to consistently land hot chicks you need to be the cool alpha badass motherfucker okay and it's rapidly getting dark here so i'll wrap up um if you got value from this video please right now press the like button also share if you have not uh or subscribe if you have not already subscribed share it if you got value and please make that a habit of my videos okay i want to be putting out a lot of really high value content the more likes and shares and subscribers we get the faster we will grow okay um i'll just leave you guys this in closing okay this is, a, this is one of my favorite stories my uncle who's taught me a lot about internal mindsets he was a natural meaning he didn't have to learn formal techniques to get good at this and he told me <clears throat> there was one time he, he still thinks this is like the hottest girl he's ever been with he said there's this girl everyone wanted her right but he played it like it wasn't that big of a deal he ended up going on a date with her they ended up seeing each other regularly she pulled a bunch of bullshit okay he cut her off okay he was driving a motorcycle and all this shit this was before cell phones she was leaving a bunch of bunch of voicemails he wasn't returning her calls and he was willing to just drop her completely okay and i've done this many times with with a bunch of main chicks and here's this chick like a perfect 10. she comes down his street walking she's got like a little outfit on he said he was like washing his motorcycle he looked down the street sees this chick coming along and she comes up in the driveway and he's like what what is it and she's like really really and he's like what and she's like why have you been returning my calls he's like oh i've been busy she's like okay th keep in mind no one's done this to her before okay most likely and basically putting in a hard line on the sand right like no one's gonna fucking drop a girl like that 
unless you can get many others just like her, okay? And, the, and a lot of this is counterintuitive. The way you keep a girl like that is by being the fucking man, okay? You got her in the first place of being the fucking man. Continue to be the fucking man, okay? It's that simple. And he says, listen, I thought you were cool. You pulled a bunch of bullshit. I don't put up with stupid bullshit, and that's it. And she tried to explain, explain. He's like, no, like, I just don't put up with bullshit. I'm not some punk. I don't, he differentiates himself from the other low value guys. I'm not some punk that puts up a bullshit, okay? And she's like, fine, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Walks off, right? And he said he saw her walking in the driveway, their fucking perfect ass falling out of her shorts or whatever the fuck she was wearing. And he said like he almost broke. He said he had like a moment of weakness where he just wanted to be like, hey, come back here, right? And he's like, no, like she fucked up. And then um, she walks like halfway down the street, sees he's not fucking calling after her, chasing after her, comes back, apologizes. He bangs her on the motorcycle. And I'm like, dude, what, what fucking happened after that? He's like, oh, I banged her for like a few more months and got sick of her and moved on. Like banged some other hot chicks. He's like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, that's fucking awesome. And we're laughing, okay? That, and he's, he's told me like a bunch of stories like that before. That is fucking killer shit, okay? Owen Cook, Tyler Durden, never in a million years, okay? Never after a 10X upgrade of his coolness would ever even get close to a situation like that, okay? That's Owen Cook, and we'll, we'll, we'll go into this in other videos. RSD Tyler, who a lot of you worship, is about as big of a beta faggot loser as it gets, okay? I'll leave you with that. Please like and subscribe and share if you found value. I am in almost complete darkness now. I will see you guys on more videos during the week. But keep that story in mind, okay? That's real player shit. That's coming from a guy that actually fucked really hot chicks and ultimately he was willing to let her go, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. My name is John Anthony. Take care.